you guys. Happy Friday. Hope everybody had a great week. And hope you have some great, fun uh, weekend plans. I was going to say holiday plans. It is not holiday. We don't got no more holidays coming up, do we? Oh, we do. It's September, Labor Day. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, um, I'm going to just take you inside my day. Pretty much to show you what I'm eating. You guys know day, night, Friday night. I always take you guys with me to show you what I'm eating. For those of you who follow me because of my um, fitness journey, keto, biking, and all that, on Fridays is my cheat meal. I don't pay attention to, you know, what I'm eating. I eat whatever I want on Friday evening. Not the whole day, just the dinner. But for lunch, I got a taste for um, a Cobb salad. And I want a steak. I want a grilled carne asada Cobb salad with all the fixings. That's what I got a taste for. That is actually what I'm craving. I have no other cravings like sugary, sweet cravings. I'm craving, I'm craving a salad, for real. I've been doing so well with my eating still. Over the weekend, this past weekend, last weekend wasn't good. It was our daughter's birthday. We went out on Sunday, Saturday, me and my cousin went out. Friday, me and hubby went out. So yeah, I ate out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But got right back on it this week. Did really, really well. And I'm at a standstill with my weight. I haven't lost any more weight. 20 pounds is, is where I'm at. 20 pounds lost. And it's because of that. You know what I'm saying? It's because of that. But, um, and I haven't been able to exercise because of the heat. Y'all, it's 103 today. And with that heat, heat index, they said it feels like 115. That's crazy. <laughs> But I'm gonna still grill. I wanna grill. I'm gonna grill my steak outside because I'd rather grill it outside than cook it in the house because that'll heat up my house. And uh, I'm gonna show you my salad. It's gonna be so good. And I get a lot of questions about, you know, different recipes you guys are requesting me because I used to do that all the time. A lot of my recipes now are health conscious and they're not even recipes necessarily, just me like this. I will continue to do that, but they're more health conscious. And for those of you who bought my book last year, you guys know that I have, you know, like a little snippet, a sneak peek of my cookbook that I'm still working on. I'm going to change those recipes. Um, I'm going to try and, and recreate the recipes to make them more health conscious because that's what my focus is. And my book is not just going to be just a cookbook. It's going to be more of just like a... Um, like a fitness book, a journal, or planner. With some healthy um, recipe ideas in it, so it's not going to be a straight cookbook, kind of like a 21 days to a better you type of guide or something like that. I'm still working on it, and I don't mind putting it out there if somebody wants to steal my idea. I don't really care because your book would be like my book. <laughs> do your thing, do your thing. But yeah, you guys, I am, and I don't think I told y'all this. Told y'all this. Some of y'all know y'all who you know I communicate with outside of uh, YouTube know that I lost my job this month um, July 5th was my last day on my job after 14 years and so I am unemployed however I get asked all the time um, have you found a job yet have you found a job yet and it's like okay first of all I just lost my job I don't know who was finna just start running out there looking for a job right away like I was in a desperate situation because it's not that one I don't even have a resume put together well I, I do now but I didn't um because like I said I had the same job for 14 years so I had to kind of research what the current resumes look like you know because resumes you follow they're trendy like it's a trend you need to follow when you're putting together your resume and then um and then you put it together based on what job you're looking for i wasn't looking for no job so now i had to kind of figure out okay what, what do i want to do what what exactly because i don't want to do what i was doing not finna do that i didn't have no passion about what i was doing nothing 
I was passionate about the company I worked for. I did like the company I worked for, but what I was doing, I'm not gonna go look for that type of job. Um, I was spoiled. You guys know I worked from home for the last four years. Um, so I didn't quite, I was stuck for like, you know, I just felt stuck. But then I thought, you know what? I have a job. I have a job. I make t-shirts. I'm a photographer. I need to get back into that, which I'm, I'm finna blow the dust off my camera, my camera skill. <laughs> and do that. I already got two photo shoots lined up. One for this month and then one in August. Because the August one is a, I'm a, I'm a specialized in maternity photo shoots. And the one that I'm doing in August is, um... I need her to be a little bigger. She's not even really showing yet. And then, um, and I'm doing that one as a courtesy photo shoot, just to kind of put it out there like this is what I'm going to be doing. So I had, and I have my nonprofit that I need to really, really push, you know, and get that out there and work that. So, I mean, it may take a minute for some money to start rolling in, rolling in, but I got a job. I got, I just, and I'm not trying to, you know, boost myself up or pump myself up, but I just feel like I got way too many talents and skills and was already in motion to run out there and try to look for a job for somebody else, to make somebody else's dreams come true and work for somebody else when I need to take this, seize this opportunity. And I did get a severance package, so it's not like they let me go with no income. So I got a little stash, which of course everybody's like, you could just save that money and make a little nest egg, save that for, you know, a rainy day and, you know, and, and go get another job. It is raining. It's a rainy day right now. And <laughs> I'm not looking at that like a little nest egg. It's like, save this little nest egg or go for your dreams and build financial freedom. If it don't work, if things ain't looking good after a year, six months to a year, I could always go look for a job. That's how I look at it. I don't know. So I just had to uh, put that out there, let y'all know that. And so, yeah, that is what's going on with me. I am in transition. But the good thing about it is, what I like about where I am right now is, I didn't say, ooh, now now's an opportunity for me to start my own business now i could start my own you know my t-shirt line or now i could start i've i'm already i've been my t-shirt business has been going over a year it's been over a year now march of 2016 is when i started it and it does very well so i'm in a good place and i don't think i should I mean, I put a little, I put a couple of fillers out there for jobs. It's not like I'm not looking, but I'm being very, very selective about the type of job. I want to make sure if I'm going to work for somebody else, it's going to be something that lines up with one of my passions. I do not want to go to a job where I'm dragging going and dreading Monday morning and all of that. Mm -mm. Telling me what time I got to go to lunch and I can't take next Friday off. No, I, I y'all, I don't know if I could do that no more. Mm-mm. Anyway, my battery's flashing, so I'm going to go in this store and get what I need to get and then come back, change my battery, and I'll show you guys my salad. You guys see my shirt? They was loving my shirt in the grocery store today. I'm not even kidding. I was like... I mean, I like the shirt. But the people that were saying they liked it, I was surprised. I was surprised of the people that were saying they like it and one lady she stopped me and then two other people came and they was like oh my god i like that and one guy started telling me a story about how the owner of little C not the owner the ceo of little caesar's at one point back in the day i guess and leo i don't know this is what he said paid uh rosa parks rent for a year or something i was like that's what the conversation was at the grocery store. <laughs> I'm like, do I need to uh, rewash this shirt? Because I'm hot and sweaty. I wouldn't dare wear this tonight. But, um, and wear it again tonight. And pass out business cards. <laughs> uh, I do try to always wear one of my own shirts. 
but I have shirts from other people too, so I like to do that as well. But anyway, y'all, my battery, like I said, is still flashing. And I am about to go tackle this heat out of the grill, y'all. I meet y'all at the grill. I just got four little steaks and then this big skirt steak. It's so turned over. Okay, so I'm going to make an avocado ranch dressing. Real simple. An avocado, a little bit of water at the bottom of the blender, a tablespoon of this uh, ranch dip, and some buttermilk. Okay, I'm holding my camera because I forgot my little tripod thing, but I'm just going to take a half a line and just squeeze some juice over the top. And I'm going to take my dressing, looks like that, and just pour it right from this little thing. When I say this dressing is everything, it's so simple. Y'all. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I had to go to the library and use their scanner. I have one, but it wasn't working. It hasn't been working, and I just never have time to figure out how to fix it. Or so I just run around the corner to the library. Y'all, I'm hot and tired. I'm ready for to go out tonight. I invited my cousin to come out with us. Her and her boyfriend. Whether they show up or not, I don't know, but that would be fun if they did. But yeah, I have some um some business I'm taking care of. I told y'all profit organization and you know and I've been that's been established over a year um, register with the state I found my taxes for 2016 at the start of the year there's like a bite and a report that I have to submit I did that so it's in good standing now I just have to uh, apply for, uh, reapply for 501c3. Last year when I applied, I filled out the wrong form. and Or the wrong form got filled out. So, I'm doing it myself this year. And, um, because that will allow me to qualify for federal grants. For the programs that I want to, you know, all the activities and the programs that I want for the kids. I can get um, federal funding and also if corporations want to donate, their um, their donation would be tax exempt. They wouldn't have to um, pay taxes on their givings if I was, if I had that particular in place so that's what I'm working on trying to handle my business um, so that's that y'all see I'm I'm just it's hot so that, oh, let me what am I doing let me turn my ear on I usually don't write my ear on unless it is uber hot and it is uber hot to go home it is four o'clock we're not going out to like seven so that gives me plenty of time to go home i got this thing is shaking i got um okay guys my tripod is acting like
like it wants to break because it's so hot that what's holding it onto my dashboard, that adhesive is coming loose. I'm at the store again because I forgot to get a pack of water. Anyway, you guys, ooh, it's hot out here. I'm finna um, get back to this house and I will see y'all at the restaurant. Bye. Okay, you guys, we are done with our date night and I forgot, like, completely forgot my camera was in my bag because the owner of the restaurant came and sat at our table. We just love her and her husband. Her husband wasn't there tonight, but we have just really become really good friends with the owners of this particular restaurant. And she came and sat at our table. And I forgot I had my camera. I complete, it never dawned on me to pull out my camera. Me and hubby, we had nachos. We shared an entree for the first time. Cause the nachos are like, incredibly really really big and there was no reason for us both to get nachos so we just shared it and there was still some left over that we just let them take it because i don't need it but i got on my sassy jones necklace sassy jones uh earrings sassy jones bracelet y'all know i love sassy jones jewelry and my t-shirt f racism and this shirt tonight got a lot of attention because <laughs> it's hard to really tell what it says right because i kind of ran it all together what does your shirt say oh my god oh my god where did you get that mm, here's my card <laughs> you can order it but anyway tonight was fun i'm tempted to keep this vlog going through the whole weekend and take you guys inside my weekend but i'll go ahead and make a part two so stay tuned for part two to see what i got going on tomorrow which Right now, I'm not quite sure, but I will be back.